Hey guys and girls, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite breakfast recipes and I will generally have this straight after the gym so it's kind of like a brunch for me and it's great for muscle building. A lot of the foods that I do in terms of particularly breakfast but pretty much most of the day right and sometimes we can pre-prepare stuff is going to be super quick, super easy. Uh, packed with protein, packed with vitamins, lots of good healthy vegetables and things like that. Very easy to make. So if you're terrible in the kitchen, don't worry. These are super, super simple, right? And really, really fast. So uh, if you wanted to create these for work and you didn't have much time, they're still going to be really manageable. You just might get, have to get up a little bit early. You could pre-prepare them, yeah, and then just heat them up if you needed to. Um, I love a cooked breakfast. And... You know, we've been talking this week about kind of things to move away from in your diet. We talked about sugar. We talked about the carbs that turn into sugar and coming back to less processed foods and coming back to more natural organic foods. So I'm going to give you a couple of options with this. So I know somebody asked me if I'm vegetarian. I'm not vegetarian. Yeah. Um, I do eat vegetarian things, but I'm not vegetarian. So, but for those of you that are vegetarian, I'm also going to give you vegetarian options as we go through. So, I'll tell you what you need to get prepared with. Now, I also will list all of this on my Warrior Spirit Active Wear blog and uh, the full recipe, so I'll put the link down below. You can go and check those out. In terms of cooking oil, I always use uh, macadamia oil, right? It's easily digested, the most easily digestible oil for the, for the stomach. Uh, it's also uh, got some really good... Um, in terms of fats, it's a really good fat. Uh, you, if you didn't have macadamia oil, probably your next best option would be just some uh, olive oils. I know some people like coconut oil, but um, I tend to find it tends to flavor the foods a little bit differently. So macadamia oil, it's a little bit more expensive, right? But it's beautiful on everything. You can even use it in your salads. Uh, one of my go-tos in terms of spices is all-purpose spice. And uh, we're going to do some kale today. So we need some rock salt. So Himalayan rock salt, amazing, the pink one. And uh, so in terms of ingredients, we are going to do, you can either do meat, and, um, and I'm going to give you a couple of options, or you can do the vegetarian options. I pulled out a whole pack of meat out of my, out of my fridge that I generally use, yeah? So good news, guys and girls. You can absolutely have bacon, right? If you want to have bacon, you can have bacon. I will often have a nice meat patty, yeah, so a beef meat patty. Um, you can just buy the ones that are already prepared at the supermarket, nothing wrong with them. And uh, you can also do some marinated chicken, right? This one uh, is mango, ginger, and kaffir lime. Sounds awesome, is awesome. So we would prob I will probably do maybe half a chicken breast in the morning. Now in terms of vegetarian options, if you've never heard of this, uh, temper, right? So temper, if we turn it over, is actually made from soy products. You can just slice that up, sprinkle it with some all-purpose seasoning and pop it in the pan. Or pop, you know, put the seasoning on it when it's in the pan. Uh, you could also do a lentil burger. Um, I've also got some koftas here. These ones are garden vegetable ones. You can get lentil ones. You can get all types of koftas, right? They're um, just, they're really actually really nice. Even if you're not vegetarian, try them out. So that's a couple of options for you in terms of meat and protein. We're going to be using some kale. And uh, if you don't like kale, right, I don't used to like kale either, but there's a specific way of cooking it that tastes really good. Uh, you want some tomatoes. Now you can just have the big tomatoes. Often I'll, I haven't got any at the moment. I've kind of been drawn to the little tomatoes at the moment. So um, if you've got a big tomato, just cut it in half. And we're going to drop it into the pan and put some all-purpose seasoning onto it. So uh, I also use sun-dried tomatoes because uh, they're actually high in potassium, right? So they've got, when you cook tomatoes, there's a lot more nutrients that come out of the tomato when you cook them, particularly potassium. We're going to be doing some zucchini. And uh, I do love a bit of onion. And I have to say to you, the sun-dried tomatoes and the onion will bring so much flavour to this dish. And uh, I'm going to do the trusty poached egg. So let's get started. I've got some water boiling and uh, we're just going to drop a poached egg ring in there and drop the poached egg in and I just need to grab one of those. Hang on. Right, we'll get that 
that into the pot. Now, I hope you can see me. I might swing you around when we start cooking over here and bring you a bit closer. Um, all right, so we want to cut up some of these veggies first. Not going to take very long. Rinse them off really well, particularly with COVID-19. You want to be rinsing everything really well. And uh, we'll put a little bit of our macadamia oil. Oh, put a little bit of our macadamia oil into the uh, pan, non-stick pan. Just a drizzle. And we get this started to heating up. So uh, I'm actually cooking for one in this dish. So you want about this much zucchini. And we're just going to slice that up. Probably want about a chunk like that of onion. Again, we're just going to roughly slice that up. And we're going to start throwing it into the pan. I'm going to have a little bit of chicken. So you can see that's quite a big, it's quite a large piece. I wouldn't need all that for breakfast. So we'll just have half of that. And uh, I'm just going to drop that in as it is. Always when you're working with meat and vegetables, you don't want to be mixing those two up on your board. Next up, we're going to throw in some tomatoes. And uh, as I mentioned, I've got these little baby Romano tomatoes. We're just going to cut those in half. get our egg cooking at the same time so we're just going to crack this egg into our we've got some water boiling we'll just let that do its thing uh, what else do we need so I want some sun dried tomatoes I have to say I'm almost addicted to these and uh, these are actually, uh, I think most of these are full size, so we just chop them up a bit. You can buy them in strips as well. As I mentioned, it's going to bring a whole lot of flavour to the dish. We want to chop up our kale. So you want a good handful of kale because it will it will reduce down in the in the pan. We're just going to roughly chop it, and uh, we're going to leave it on the board because we don't want it to go in too early. It's going to cook really fast. Actually, put a little bit more chicken in because that's actually quite small. That piece. And we'll get stirring on this and saute it. Right, and I'm going to bring you closer so you can uh, see what's happening in the pan. Okay. So we're just going to uh, gently, hello, <laughs> saute this very quick. It doesn't take very long.
we'll uh, turn this chicken over. Hello. <laughs> So you can see how uh, quick and easy this is. It literally, hi guys, <laughs> it literally takes about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, if you're watching me earlier, I brewed myself a beautiful juice. You could also have it with your morning coffee. Okay, so at this point we're going to add in the kale. We're just going to drop it in here. Now the key to cooking kale is to add some salt. Quite a generous amount, not too much salt, but enough to take. The salt will take the bitterness out of the kale. Just gently turn that over and that will cook really quickly. Just keep an eye on your poached egg that you're not overdoing your poached egg. That one's cooking quite nicely. Now in terms of sizes of poached eggs, hi guys. <laughs> I like to go for the jumbo ones, right? <laughs> as big as I can get them. I think that's an 800. So between the 7 and 800, so you've got a good source of protein. Ah, oh, this is cooking up nicely now. It's pretty close to being ready. A lot of beautiful greens in there. Ready to plate up. Okay, so in terms of plating up, we're going to put our uh, veggies on first. We're going to create a bit of a stack. Chicken to go on next. Beautifully cooked. And then our poached egg. So uh, I always cook my poached eggs with a little a ring around them, right? The little metal rings. I tend to find they're really handy. So we're just going to take that out. These kind of spatulas are awesome to get your egg out. Nothing worse than flipping your egg upside down, I've got to say. That's happened before. And uh, we're just going to place that on there. And uh, a little bit of salt and pepper, particularly on the egg. Um, I always love cracked black pepper. And uh, voila, how good does that look, huh? Now, look at the portion size. Quite a lot, right? So it's not about it's not about uh, reducing. It is about having a good portion size because it's really about listening to your body, right? And then when you're full, stop eating and recognize when you're getting you know when you're actually full. Don't overeat and don't force food in. But this is um, this is a really power packed breakfast after the gym workout. We've got some great protein here. We've got some great high antioxidant greens, and um, as I mentioned, we've got some beautiful vegetables. In there as well so uh, bon appetit my loves I'm gonna go and hoe into this with my juice and I'll put the recipe up for you on my blog I'll put the link down below 
go check it out. Have an awesome, awesome day.